All right, very limited time to make a video. Let's see. We're gonna, I just found a truck. It's been posted for about an hour. Uh, let's see. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go take a look at it, but we don't like to go and look at things without having the cash. So, uh, let's pull some cash out of here. can tell you where I hide the cash inside my own safe. Okay, boom, right there. And what we got, okay. I need, how much I have on here, because truck is only a, I might have enough in there, because the truck is 5,000. So, we're gonna go and get it. You guys think are coming along. If I take the motor home, yes. If I take the Jeep, no. Hey, don't kick stuff. You know what? You guys can go potty. Go potty. And where's your collar, dog? <sighs> Let's see. What are we gonna take? Because I had to bring a trailer. The trailer is empty, so it only weighs 2,000 pounds. So I don't know if I have a tow hitch for this one. I used to have one, but I think I sold it with a hitch for some reason. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see if this can pull a 24 foot trailer. I don't have a tow hitch on this one. And that has a nice VA, but I do have a beautiful tow hitch already set up on the height for everything that I own. So I think I'm just gonna go get the truck with the motorhome. Uh, just take the tanks off, and I'm gonna have to pull that thing off because that's for my very, very large Jeep. That will be the less time consuming, I think. If I tow with the Jeep, then the new truck that I'm buying is gonna have to tow this with my jeep on top and it's all a lot more work and I don't know if the truck has a hitch <sighs> just gonna take the motor home you guys wanna come? I'm taking the motor home <laughs> yeah I think that's the uh, the right call it's to take this she's always ready to go yeah it's nothing on the tables or on the counters we're ready she's got a oh no how'd that happen what did I left on well I left something on that sucks go figure oh don't tell me okay so, little jumpy thing now. All right. Oh, Lord. That's reset in low battery. Okay, dogs inside the house. I got a lot to do, obviously. And not a lot of time. Oh, I just figured it out. I left the, uh, when I shut it off, my cab light on top was on. Donkey, Lilo, let's go. Inside the house. Come on. Go, go, go. Okay. Ooh, nipply. We're gonna grab this charger. Charger, jumper, call it whatever. This. Oh, look at that. It's even plugged in. This is awesome. Da da da. Harbor Freight to the rescue. Not a sponsor, you know. <laughs> maybe one day, maybe one day, we'll see. Okay, pop the hood on this, that light in there, it was on. Who knows how long it's been on, too. It's a little light bulb, but you know, motorhome doesn't get used that often. Okay, yeah. Which size the battery here? Look at what a beautiful spot to drop that in there and do this one-handed. Give me a better bite there, kind of. You kind of bite here. Okay. Wrong. There. There we go. Now, 
We we'll shall see. They give us the juice. Gave us the juice that we needed it. That's perfect. Oh my God. The alarm is not happy with the low voltage. The alarm is obviously not happy with the low voltage. Ugh. All right. I should charge it completely on just one drive because the battery is good. I wonder if I can jump myself because I had two chassis batteries and are brand new. These batteries, the... Uh, I don't, I don't know what it is. I'm not gonna speak out of my mind because I truly don't know. But we're gonna throw that in there. Look up to the trailer real quick. Cause see, my idea all the time was to just tow everything with the motorhome. It's short. Uh, that's great power-wise, especially for the boat. And you know, both my toys are about on the trailer about ten thousand pounds. I mean, they're like more like 9,000. This motorhome can tow up to uh, 10,000 pound Triton V10, but the motorhome is pretty light. I just want to go to like hit something and move forward a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go check it. <laughs> Let's see where I'm at. How bad did I do? Oh no, showing on YouTube how bad I am at this. Ugh. And, oh, not too bad. Almost touched it. And that looks like paint, but I don't think it's paint. No, that is not from my bumper. Press from some other time. Okay, so I just pull forward with the steer tires towards the passenger. And she'll be good. Okay, we're fully hooked up to the trailer. I just gotta back this thing up where it belongs. We got a, two propane bottles to take out and some other stuff. I'm gonna park it on the grass, even though I hate parking on the grass. But that's where it needs to be. We gotta remove some boards too. Oh, and I'm totally cheating. Uh, they when I back up, that's why I say I'm totally cheating. I know exactly where I'm going. <laughs> Ooh, it's, a, it's chilly. Gotta keep it half for the doggies. At least with this one, I, I'll take the dogs and I feel confident with a Jeep. Would have taken me too long to figure it out. Uh, the electric part of it. Uh, fully hooked up in there. Everything the right way. I will double and triple check that. I need to take these ones, which I believe they're uh, T25s and the propane tanks. I have a chain. I just need the toe straps, uh, sorry, the tie-down straps, which, okay, they're there. I got plenty of them. I keep them inside, nice and uh, out of the element, not always on the trailer. That trailer doesn't move unless I grab straps anyways, even if I go to pick up something that don't require straps. I'm picky later, I don't know why. Uh, perfect switcher, because I'm very, very cold. Let's put it on. Okay. We are, yes, I gotta fix this poor fender. Uh, we are ready. Don't pay attention to that. Uh, let's see, yep. 24 foot of homemade glory. Okay, let's, uh, what I'm grabbing. I should just put a tow hitch on this, but then I'll be afraid of leaving this, you know, like let's say at the lake or somewhere with the wheelers, because inside of this, there's a, a lot of money tools wise. This is my work truck. That has the towing capacity of a donkey. Pulls about 2,500 pounds. Uh, <laughs> so that's it. So for the day, son, you know, just gonna go for the day. 
Uh, this is actually super convenient to go for the day. Uh, also, especially when you get your own bathroom, your own kitchen, you come back to the dock. It works amazing. Not every place is going to have a parking for this and that like 30 foot trailer. So that's why we're going to go get a, a short bed, nice and warm now. My daughter gave me this as a present. I don't remember if it was for a Christmas or a birthday, but she gave it to me. So I like to use it. Let's see the dogs. Let's go truck truck. I don't know what that means. Let's go truck truck. Let's see. They're excited. I think we're going camping. We're now. We're just gonna go get me a nice regular cab truck. Hopefully. I mean, for all I know, I'm not gonna buy donkey. Get. Wee. Lilu. Lilu. She wants me to throw her a stick. Come on, Fatso. Go. Come on, <laughs> let's go truck truck. Let's go truck truck. Come on, babies. Come on. Oui, oui. Okay, this is just a cardboard box. I'm gonna throw it away. Nothing is where it's not supposed to be, so we're good. Uh, check this out for the guys that don't know. Best off road club out there. Boom. Like it or not. Ah, gotta put that one on my CJ7. I just, I'm not done painting it yet, so I don't want to put it somewhere. Ready, girly? Yeah, as you can see, I <laughs> I put a wooden box on here, just so one baby can ride on a seat and the other one on the center. And yes, I do have another truck. <sighs> oh, tractors on the way. This one, believe it or not, drives, amazing. But you know, it normally sits on here on the house under the roof. We put the garbage in there and my construction debris on here on the daily. And eventually we don't have garbage service on here. So that's what that truck does. If I need to tow as an emergency, I have tow excavators with it. No problem. Uh, I just feel like I need cute little regular cab truck for whenever I wanna so, you know, just the toys or the boat, and we're not needing the motor home. I can do it with the dually, no problem, but I don't know. Looks like a good deal. Well, I am currently leaving the uh, house. Oh, look, it's between the hat and my t shirt. It looks like I'm being sponsored by <laughs> Insanity Five between uh, Del Rey and Cliff. <laughs> now nah, it's just a very large race that happens and I like it. Ah, hit the hole, car pass by. Okay, I am late. I'm supposed to be right now where I need to be in 30 minutes, if that makes sense. So I'm 30 minutes behind. I called the uh, person, didn't pick up. Uh, we'll see how we go from here. Okay, so where are we going here? Got the pups riding. And yes, I finally was able to contact the owner of the truck. I told him I'm 27 minutes or so behind. Uh, like he said, well, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, it just took more time than I thought. Probably because I'm making a video, to be honest. But uh, yeah, in route, man. Dogs are excited because they think we're going camping somewhere. But we're not. That's where he rides always. On my lap. But uh, and I have to pay a lot of attention after this turn. There is a massive hole in there. It took the tire out of my wife's car. Right there. Oh, they're patched it now. Congratulations. The city did something. They owe me wheels and tires, but whatever. Right there. Hit this massive crater. I have huge hands. Look at the depth. 
It's about four inches in depth. It's nothing but gravel. So that's the wheel. I wasn't going to bother with the paperwork and calling and trying to deal with them, fixing, you know, a tire and wheel. To be honest, the tire was uh, not in the best shape, uh, but still, uh, probably with the four focus, they came factory with a low profile and like 18 inch wheels or 19, something like that. So I ended up finding a good deal of all four wheels and tire out of a four focus that is not the platinum so it only has like 15 inch wheels so it's a lot more rubber it actually the car rides 10 times better it's not like a freaking wheelbarrow way better hi honey she's coming here for attention well, trailer still there behind and uh, we're going oh lord I should have not show that the steering column hasn't been clean in that long <laughs> sure. but at least we made it to the freeway well ladies and gentlemen there you have it <laughs> Full purchase, uh, forty-five hundred bucks. Uh, the guy was asking fifty-six hundred. Uh, so the tires are, you know, very old. They're from 05 is summer right there. They're from 05. They had some cracks. Um, so I'm like, ah, now nah, you know. And what else? Oh, this is the most important stuff. <laughs> Bearings on this one spindle. Uh, let's focus the camera. Gone, gone. Or broken. Or broke the stuff shaft, but U joint looks good. I basically need new U joints everywhere. Full tune up, you know. And it's the works, but for 4500 can't do any better. This one here, I can pop this out. Just has a little glaze over in there. Uh, but I will come off easy. She powers through just fine. She's looking good in there. Gonna strap the front end. That's how she looks. Love all bodies trucks. So this one's coming home and it's gonna get some love. Yes, we're towing it with the motor home. We have it on the trailer no idea how much it weighs but I know I'm under 10,000 pounds for sure and for the ones on our asking somewhere in there take your screenshots do your thing but this motorhome comes rated from the factory to tow 10,000 pounds so we are good I came to the bank so you can see what and I had to make it out of here being well, motorhome is 26, the trailer is 24. So we're gonna use all of this turn and block everything and the trailer tires are missing it. Perfect. And somehow I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, we have the four in there. Yes, the camera on the rain don't work too good. <laughs> uh, not a lot of traffic. I mean, decent. Motorhome as always. It's like a damn semi. It's a tractor. It's a powerhouse. But it is extremely, extremely windy today. Uh, side to side wind like crazy. So it's just gonna make it nice and safe home get some dinner actually I'm gonna see if I can fix that one thing on the track the one spindle on the front half and take it to go buy pizza we'll see how that goes well many 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 miles later we made it home 
Look at that pure sexiness. I'm a shitty guy, but that's okay. You gotta own it, you gotta respect it. This four looks good. Uh, needs everything, you know, probably shocks. Uh, Lilu, don't stand up your tail, it makes me think you're gonna go kill something. Uh, basically, yeah, that one axle or spindle, uh, brand new U joints everywhere. Spark plugs, cap rotor, you know, typical, the works, but man, she looks good. Toolbox, I don't think I have the key, but they're open, so I actually I can get to them. Um, first tank, if you fill it up all the way, uh, apparently it leaks through the ascending unit, so that's just a gasket. There's the project. I'll make a series of bringing this thing alive. It looks really good as the chassis standing in there. But like I said, tires are garbage. They're like from 05. Uh, probably put some cheap Patagonias. Gosh, can you imagine if I was, was one of those off-road YouTubers and they just get free Patagonias for everything? That will be nice. <laughs> one day, maybe. One day. Just gotta keep doing it. It's never gonna fit in the garage, but we'll take the uh, the half, figure it out that, so see if we can go and make its first trip. It's been parked for way too long to go get pizza. The problem is, I have massive ADD. So when it starts raining, I don't think like, oh, let's do things right and then move both vehicles forward. Actually, three. The dirt bike was here, the Jeep was here, and there was no room for the Ford. Uh, I have no idea what I did with the uh, Allen wrench Then I was taking those things off. Let's see. I didn't start the Jeep. I just moved it by hand. So... No... I put the T-case on neutral and I just pushed it forward. First I moved the dirt bike with both hands. I don't have an Allen wrench on my pockets. All right. Don't worry, this is uh, very, very, very normal for me. I, my brain is at a billion miles an hour and something little like, I mean, I can have this flashlight and out of nowhere, I'll be like, oh, let's just park the motorhome to block the boat. And after I do that, I'm like, ask me where I left such a big flashlight. No idea. Maybe it's this one sitting here on the floor. Let's see. Oh, it is, but see, it's randomly tossed on the floor. Okay. Let's keep doing this. <laughs> 